welcome to Vincenzo's Plate. In this episode, we are going to make rigatoni del lotto. So what we need for this dish? We need a nice eggplant, two zucchini, extra virgin olive oil, pesto, half or a quarter of onion, black olives, make sure they're pitted, rock salt, nice basil, Italian basil, and white wine. The most important ingredient of this dish is the pasta. So make sure you get a good quality rigatoni like this. Okay, so now we get a nice saucepan like this. We get eggplant. Cut the head off. Cut the bottom. We cut this in half. Like this. Yeah. And then we cut this in half again. Now it's easy, now we just need to make small cubes, like this. Okay, so now we put this eggplant in the saucepan. Okay, okay so now the eggplant are in the saucepan, and now we are cutting the zucchini. Like this. It's rubbish. And then again, we cut this in half. Very important that you cook pasta in a big pot and you need at least five liters of water. So like I said before, make sure you use a good quality pasta and when you make pasta, just make the whole thing, just make the whole packet because you can have it as a leftover the day after. So it's not a waste. Now, we get a saucepan with eggplant and zucchini and we put some water. So not too full, see? But you almost need to cover all the zucchini and eggplant, okay? That's the way you cook it. So now we're gonna place this on the saucepan for about 20 minutes and the temperature has to be medium high, okay? Okay, so the zucchini and eggplant have been cooking for about five minutes. Now we can put three tablespoons of uh, stable salt. Okay, and just stir it a little bit. And now we can put some sea salt. Now, let's put the pasta. You put the pasta in, you stir it straight away, and you put the timer on, and follow the cooking time instruction on the packet. Okay, the eggplant and zucchini are now ready. So now, let's put the eggplant and zucchini in here. Put the onion in here, like this. Like that, oh yeah, that looks good. Mmm, it's not good too. And then we can put some extra virgin olive oil. Make sure it's extra virgin olive oil. So let's put the fire on a medium temperature. We we'll put it back on the stove. And we wait about five minutes until the onion uh, becomes brown. So after five minutes, with the onion, we put a little bit of white wine. Now you can really smell. Because the wine helps to get all the smells out. We put a little bit of more love in this dish. We put my favorite, Italian basil. And then we cut the black olive in half. And then half again. And, and now we're gonna add these black olives. For about one minute, stir. So this is stirring, stirring, and now we're going to add the paste. A tablespoon will help. And then we just leave a little bit inside, and we put some water from the sink. Make sure there is nothing left at the bottom. Mix it up, mix it up. And we're going to put it here. This is very important that you do it, because you want to create a nice sauce. Okay, so the sauce is ready and it's still cooking on a low temperature. We're gonna put the pasta on, just like that. Okay, so we stir it just a little bit, because you don't want the pasta to fall out. And then we're going to put it in the pasta bowl. 
you can't do put parmesan in here. If you don't like it, it's okay, but I love it. So I put some parmesan on top. Okay, so thank you for watching Vincenzo's Plate. E ora si mangia Vincenzo's Plate.